What's going on, missionaries? I'm going to call this the cold market support. So, earlier today, I had to block somebody because she wanted support from a stranger. And I say this because we, she was my prospect. So, to me, she was a stranger. So, when you want a stranger to support you, you got to pay them to support you. Usually. Or there has to be something in it for them. You feel me? So... I've been in my cold market, meaning I've never had a hot market, I've never had a warm market, I don't even have an email list. So every time I make a sale, it's in the cold market. So because I've been in the, I'm so used to the cold, that I don't, I don't even ask people I know to support me. My friends, my family, I don't ask them. Because every time I get support, I'm in the cold market. Every time I eat, it's because I'm in the cold market. And then I turn my cold market into a warm market. Or a hot market. But, this, what I've learned, I've even had people in my warm and hot market who I've developed some sort of, like, relationship with. And they turn their back on me, and then I cut them off. Like, I had somebody, where where she turned into a warm market. She turned into a friend. And she supported me with with giving me $100 to get a bike. And she turned around when, when I didn't want nothing, when I was trying to focus, really, to be honest with you, and get my shit done with my life, because I realized that, that we talking about nothing, she turned around and said, and I said, when the relationship was over, because, like, I said the relationship was over, because um, she was being petty about dumb shit, um, and saying, wow, well, dumb shit. So, when I moved on, she wanted her $100 back. I gave her that hundred dollars and I said adios. And I know in the future she's gonna she's gonna slap herself in the head and realize, oh shit, that was dumb. Maybe I should have I should have kept that relationship going and I should have been more honest with that relationship because she was trying to get me jealous, make me feel away about something. I said I ain't in that type. You can't even you can't even get me to do that because I'm so confident in who I am and where I'm at in my life. I could give no fucking fucks about what you're talking about, who you're trying to get me jealous of because nobody's like me. So, when I came to this realization that I'm going to go get my, my biggest support, all my, my support in my life has come from strangers. Never came from family, never came from friends, and strangers are turned into friends. So, so understanding that, I understood, yo, I had to put in the work. So, when you get strangers when you get strangers to support you make it worth their while because if it's not worth their while because remember a friend can turn into a stranger all over again just like it just like i just told with that story so don't be so caught up on people supporting you because a lot of times the biggest support you're gonna get is from people you don't know